Simplicity is not to take things at face value, but to look at things from your pure, selfless, unbiased, disinterested center. Simplicity is not so much about how things look. Simplicity is about the situation of the looker, the one who is looking. If he is biased or afraid or tempted or is seeking comfort and security in what he is looking at, then the looking would yield very confused and misleading results. Same with inquiry. The ego cannot really inquire. It can at most be curious about its sustenance and continuation as it is. And that is very different from inquiry. To inquire is to be committed to knowing even if the knowing threatens to hurt you or uproot you or challenge you. The ego wants to add knowledge through superficial curiosity. Such addition of knowledge is not for the sake of the truth. It is for the sake of the ego's own survival and continuation. The ego says, let me know more so that I can use the knowledge as an armor and as a weapon. Hmm? In inquiry, the situation is very different. In inquiry, you do not use knowledge as a weapon to defend yourself. On the contrary, in inquiry, knowledge is welcome even if it destroys you. We do not like knowledge of the latter kind, do we? For us, knowledge is something to be utilized. Not something to which we can sacrifice ourselves. Mostly we remain bigger than knowledge. We remain the users of knowledge. Man acquires knowledge and then turns it into technology to serve his own little purposes. That is why man is so keen after scientific knowledge, worldly knowledge, knowledge of the markets, economics, politics. But man is not very keen on spiritual knowledge. Worldly knowledge will fill you up 
and fatten you and the ego wants to be fattened spiritual knowledge makes you lean reduces you ultimately dissolves you and finishes you off and nobody loves the truth deeply enough to wish to be finished so we can commit ourselves to our universities to our journals to the internet and google that supply us with so much information and news and knowledge but we will not commit ourselves to self inquiry self inquiry too is news no isn't it news news of a very intimate kind news about yourselves but google simply doesn't have that feature how am i doing you can't know so you're not interested type who am i and maybe you will get to know some old texts nothing more than that superficially inquire superficial inquiry wants knowledge but only till the point knowledge is friendly and useful deep inquiry wants knowledge beyond the point of friendliness after a point knowledge is no more friendly after a point knowledge is deadly it threatens and appears horrible that's when self inquiry stops <laughs> no more knowledge it's getting into the danger zone now self inquiry is only for those who can tolerate that danger zone who love the truth more than they love their security where does our security reside it resides in our notions beliefs way of living our opinions attitudes that's where our securities live we feel comfortable in our personal domains real knowledge penetrates and blasts away all that difficult to like you have heard of the dream right so changu goes to mangu and changu tells mangu you know what i have clairvoyance mm -hmm. i see the future in my dreams so what did i just see <coughs> last night i saw that there was a big big house and mangu says hmm big house 
interesting. He says, you know, the house had your name. Said, wow, yes, tell me more. It was all painted in white. Hmm? Eight large vehicles were parked in front of it, all carrying your name. Wow, tell me more, I want to know. There was a beautiful woman there and lovely kids. Yes, that's surely welcome and worth listening to. All the dignitaries of the city had assembled there. Wow. And everybody was taking your name. Wow. All the dignitaries have assembled and everybody is taking my name. And then the main door opened. And everybody made way for a stretcher that was being brought out from inside. All the dignitaries started chanting your name. <laughs> wow, all the dignitaries are chanting my name. Probably I am going to emerge from within. The gates have opened. No sir, it was a stretcher. And there was a body on it. And all the heavens were showering flowers on it. Uh, all right, I think somebody is waiting for me. We'll, we'll hear the rest of the story tomorrow. The news bulletin is over. I don't want to know any further. I want to know only till the point of my comfort and fancies. I want to know till the point it is pleasurable to me or at least useful to me. The moment it starts hitting and hurting, the news bulletin has to be stopped. Acharya is wonderful as long as he says, this is false, that is false, that too is false. Especially your enemies, they are all false. All the gold that you could not buy is false. All the cars that you could not ride are false. All the accomplishments you could not have are false. But the moment he says, this is false. Uh, is it not time? <laughs> Yes. Uh, today is the last day, yeah. the wonderful six days I have experienced in my life. But since yesterday, fear is coming me in facing back the world to which I am going. In the heart, yes, there is a new form, peace, love, joy, freedom. But outside, I am surrounded with fear of facing the outside battles which I have been postponing for a very, very long time. Do not be worked up or charged up. Otherwise, you excitement will consume all your energy. Hmm? I was in class 6. There used to be 
डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल बैडमिंटन टूर्नामेंट माई फादर यूज टू पार्टिसिपेट ही वॉज अ गुड प्लेयर सो आई हेड बीन वॉचिंग हिम सिंस अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड ट्रेनिंग एंड आई ट्रेंड क्वाइट हार्ड फॉर सिक्स टू एट मंथस विद माई फादर ही वॉज द कोच and i was very sure and confident and had all the excitement of the 11 year old hmm and rolled in the tournament hmm? in my age group so the day of my first match i reached there early match was in the evening i reached right in the afternoon and i started practicing with the best players there even the ones who were 15 or 18 i was so worked up so excited that now that i have trained so much hmm? you say 6 days i had Six months. I have trained so hard. I have to win this one. That for four hours, in the name of warm up and practice, I played intensively with the best players there. <laughs> Now in the evening, around six was my match. first game i somehow managed in the second and the third ones i was left with nothing at all to compete with don't be so excited hmm? your strength will turn into your weakness had i trained any less harder i wouldn't have had the stamina to play all those practice games but because i played all those practice games that afternoon i lost all my stamina the very rigor of the training went against me it's not that the training was bad it's just that i was too excitable hmm. i remember that day when woke up in the morning equally nervous and bubbly the big day has come the big day has come i'll do what father has been doing all these years compete i'll take them head on the match was to begin in the evening and i was playing the match since the morning obviously by the evening i was all spent out and then after the match i came out sat in my father's jeep and cried my heart out <laughs> i remember that pretty vividly <laughs> it was the first round the opponent was not very impressive set 
to prepare hard and then to be ousted in the very first round was pretty heartbreaking. I was much better than a first round exit, <laughs> but that's what I earned for myself. Hmm? But hopefully I learned my lesson. If the session begins at 12, I ensure that it never begins at 11.45. In fact, if the session physically begins at 12, for me, it begins at 12.20. It takes me a while. to warm up and realize that, oh, it's now really on. Never do I prepare, never do I tell myself that something important is going to happen. If what I am doing is truthful, what business do I have worrying about it? And if what I am doing is something personal, then I better not give it the name of the truth. Hmm? If what I am saying is something personal, then what business do I have talking about it? And if I am talking about it, and it's a matter of the truth, then why must I worry and wonder? I'll just go and sit. And let the champion do his own thing. My task is to just sit. sit. Just sit. He is the champion player. He'll do whatever he wants to. Hmm? All my nervousness and excitement is rather a hindrance. Hmm? So now that you have trained well for six months, I mean six days, just go, warm up a little. When it is there to be lobbed, lob it. When it is there to be dropped, drop it. And when it is there to be smashed, smash let it smash it hard. Let it smash it. <laughs> huh? okay. Don't okay. play the game before it begins. Hmm?